How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to keep your scars from darkening after you have a procedure. Now with any sort of surgical slash cosmetic procedure that anyone can have, there's always gonna be a superficial scar where the surgeon sutured in whatever they opened up. And that takes a very long time to heal. It can take for a scar to fully mature and kind of mellow out a number of years actually so it's very important when that scar is forming and taking its time developing and nurturing itself as a scar that you make sure it doesn't come into contact with anything harsh that could change the trajectory of where it is trying to go one of the things you ha really have to be careful of when your scar is healing is scar darkening which is pretty common and a lot of people are prone to it and today we're going to be talking about how to prevent it the major reason why it actually happens and how to avoid it so that you have the best looking scar possible when it fully matures i personally i'm a trans man so i had a double mastectomy um last june of 2020 and i have two really really big scars across my chest so i want them to mature and to heal the best way that they can because when i do go to when i take my shirt off or whenever i go to the beach i want to look nice i want to feel confident with my scars i don't really mind having scars but i do want to feel confident that my scars look like the way i want them to so the number one reason why scars actually darken is because of uv light and the primary cause of UV light in the world is sunlight. So whenever you have a procedure where there is a scar, you want to try and avoid the sun as much as possible. And many of you who are watching this video probably are thinking, well, I already knew that. I knew that sunlight, um, you know, damages your scars and make them look darker than they should be. But have anyone ever told you how long you should avoid the sun? Because I feel like a lot of these self-help blogs about scar healing only do the bare minimum of giving the information that you need and all they say and i've seen this in countless videos and countless blog posts all they say is avoid sunlight but what does that mean how often should you avoid sunlight are there certain times where you can risk yourself going to the sun does it include incandescent light um can you be you know can you expose your scar to this light in lights in your home? So first off, if you have a scar that's in a part of your body that almost never gets exposed to sunlight, you're very lucky. So you probably don't even have to watch the rest of this video. But for people that do, and even for people who have scars under in, in the areas like the chest, eventually you do have some exposure to light. Um, sometimes I just, it's really hot in my house and I don't want to wear a shirt anymore. But luckily enough, the lights in your home have very, very small amounts of UV. So minimal, in fact, that it shouldn't really affect you if you do expose your scars to them. The UV rays that do get emitted from the light bulbs in your home are not significant enough to cause any damage. And it's almost so minute that it has almost no uh, significance to skin cancer. So don't even worry about the lights in your home. You'll be totally fine exposing your scars to the, to the lights. Um, that are just sitting in your kitchen or up there. As far as the timeline, you should actually avoid sunlight, direct sunlight exposure to your scar. I have read a lot, bunch of research studies and they say that you should actively try and avoid sunlight from a year to 18 months, preferably 18 months. And I know that sounds like a very, very long time, especially for transmasculine individuals that also get double incision mastectomies and are in watching this video because I cover so much about that procedure we want to show off our chest as soon as possible because it's a form of gender euphoria but if you really really want your scars to develop as they should you should avoid exposing your chest to sunlight for up to 18 months it's a very long time but i'll assure you there are ways to mitigate that luckily a huge a huge portion of scar treatment is silicone scar strips if you've never heard of that before i highly suggest reading about or watching a video on how effective silicone scar strips are when it comes to healing scars. But when you do put that silicone scar strip over your scar, you're creating a barrier between the sunlight and your scar itself. So you should be fine as long as there's something on top of your scar. If you're exposing, this, if you're exposing it to sunlight, um, there's probably no UV penetration to your skin. 
Anyways, this was a super quickie short video on how to manage your scars and a little healthcare tip out there so that if you do end up getting a scar sometime in the future, you know what to do and how to protect yourself. I love you guys. Please tune in to my Instagram and Twitter if you want to keep up with my daily life and I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.